We are standing in Veins Estate in Utenaik in Smuts Avenue and uh, not too long ago we have repaired a huge pothole here in Smuts Avenue. It was a massive pothole that we've repaired uh, the proper way. We've done a, a concrete G5 with cement mix at the base with, with tar that we've put on top, we've put much tar on top so we had a concrete G5 base at the bottom so that the pothole doesn't sag and all these tar uh, we, we used, we, we compacted with our hands so my son, my sons and I had a lot of blisters and we repaired this huge pothole that was flat, there was no dent now the municipality has taken all our tar out, our concrete base out and um, they have replaced it with a very bad skimpy job look at the dent look at the dent that is here so when the cars go through there it's already a dent so they've, they've actually done a very good replacement that we've done they have made it into a very shabby job the water is going to lie here now and uh, this pothole is going to become a pothole very quick again and uh, they are doing the next one as well this was another pothole we repaired as you can see it's 100 percent level it's there's no dents in it and they're already cutting so they, they're going to fix something they want to fix something that's that's not broken so they've already done the pre preparation to cut something that's not broken yeah meanwhile wait for me meanwhile just down this road there's a few potholes that needs repairing so we've got a we've got a request from the municipality to the municipality is please don't see us as, us as a threat when we repair something we do it because we care not because we want to spite the municipality we do it because we are we, we care for our uh, for our province for our towns and uh, don't fix something that is not broken we do this we did this with love and we did a proper job there's a lot of potholes in the street and around you tonight use that tar use this tar to fix holes that needs to be fixed do not fix something that's not broken um, one of my sons uh, shared something this morning with me that's very nice i would like him to share that with you yes it's Fundila Mahala, I call him just Jesus. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Arman, really, I'm so surprised, you know, to really see what's happening here. And uh, as I shared with you, uh, 2009, uh, Mandela Foundation um, started an initiative where uh, Mandiba's birthday was made a Mandiba Day so that uh, the communities, the organization, the companies can collaborate with the municipality. So I'm so shocked and surprised that the municipality seems as if does not call, call, like to, to work together with the good citizenship, you know, and, um, and as, as this portal was done, they were supposed to use the energy, the time and the money to other potholes around here. So this is very shocking. And uh, my plea, actual our plea, is not to carry on with this um, removal of this portal because they should use the energy, the money, to 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 the other potholes, you know. Because it was Mandela's vision that uh, companies, NGOs, uh, the municipality, the government can work together to better the country of South Africa. And you know, he once said that it is easy to break and destroy, but the heroes they built up uh, the country. So I I really saddened by by, by this by this uh this thing that happened. So it is our plea, Mr. Arnold, that this Amen. thing will, will really um be considered. Alright. Yeah, Amen. 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 Look yeah. at that. Thank you, man.